A team of former college and professional athletes are coming together to create a whole new way for fans to engage with them. This morning we have former Auburn players Ryan Smith, Chris Davis, and former Vanderbilt player and current Calera High coach George Drake. They are all here to talk about Rivalry University. Hey, good morning guys. How's it going? Good morning, great. Thank you. Great. Yeah, so we were talking about this just a little bit earlier. This is a whole new idea that you all came up with. So what is Rivalry University? Well, well first off, thank you for having us. Of course. Um, and supporting your former collegiate athletes. Mm -hmm. um, Rivalry University was developed, you know, with the former uh, collegiate athletes and professional athletes and a way to engage with our fans. Um, as you all know, we had great times at Vanderbilt, at Auburn, um, but we also wanted to find a way that we could continue that relationship um, so that our fans could continue to support us and stay engaged. Without Rivalry University, what happens after your, your you know, athletic career comes to an end and what happens to those fans? Are they able to, to really, do you have that relationship anymore? Yeah, I'd say often that, you know, we don't. The, the, the relationship somewhat ends once you finish playing the sport. Mm -hmm. um, so we've tried to, you know, develop a platform in which we can continue to highlight our businesses, brands, um, and the things that we're currently doing with our careers. Perfect. So, so what does that mean? How can people interact with, with those businesses, with those brands? Yeah, you can, right now you can go to wearerivalry.com, you can visit all of our social medias, and what the, the, the essential plan is, is for our fans, we have athletes who are currently engineers, we have athletes who are currently chefs, we have athletes who are currently in so many great industries, um, and we want to make sure that we continue to highlight them so our fans know, hey, if you're in the state of Alabama and you have participated in the great rivalry that is Auburn, Alabama, Alabama State, A&M, whatever the case is, that we have athletes out here who are wanting your support and we want to stay engaged with you. Certainly, yeah, and you can continue to, to follow their careers and support them. Um, what was the thought process behind this? Uh, Chris and George, why, why did you want to get involved with this? Uh, I think it was a great idea to put together Rival University to help reconnect with the fans, like, far as, like, brands and products. You know, you can, it's, all, it's like a one-stop shop. You can get everything you want just from going to www.wearerivalry.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think, uh, just piggyback off of them, just to have a one-stop shop where uh, you, you, you have access to your uh, a player directory, so where all that college athletes or former college athletes are there uh, for fans to have an opportunity to come and uh, reconnect and uh, engage that, that relationship that uh, when we were there and, and at school and we had giving our all our, our, our blood, sweat and tears out there on the court or on the playing field, those fans can re-engage and um, be a part of this new season. This new season, I love that, yes, because I mean once you're an athlete, especially at the college professional level, it's in your blood, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Even if you're not if you're not on the court, you're not on the field, you're still an athlete. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. so having that support I'm sure means a lot too. Yeah. Where do you see Rivalry University going? Oh, we see Rivalry University serving as a global community for athletes across the country. Right now we have players from various schools across the country who are part of the directory um, who have already highlighted their businesses, brands, products, and careers. So again, we want fans to, for instance, if you visit the state of Texas or Georgia and you're looking for, as I mentioned before, a chef, if you're looking for someone to you know, do engineering work, that you can come to our platform and if you want to support an athlete who are doing so many great things out here, um, you have the option to do so. Certainly, yes. Now, do you have to be a certain type of athlete to be on the Rivalry University? No, absolutely not. We have athletes who are Division One, Division Three. We also have our halftime community that is being developed as well. Um, that includes our cheerleaders, our band members, our mascots. We want this experience to be an all-inclusive where our fans, our athletes, and our halftime community can serve and support each other continuously. Wow. Okay. So even if somebody wasn't on the field necessarily doing something, although you know I was in band and that's pretty athletic. You know, <laughs> absolutely. <have> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but you can still be a part of that uh, and. You can still yeah be a part of this global community that's that's really helping fans engage too i love that mm -hmm. um again where how can people support you how can our viewers support you you can support us by going to wearerivalry.com. Uh -huh. You can follow all of our, our social medias. Um, we have our warm up with rivalry show in which we discuss college football picks, predictions that releases uh, every Saturday. Um, so please tune in um, and continue to support our athletes. Wonderful. Speaking of college football, season's heating up. 
Any predictions coming up? Oh uh, yeah, just tune in. Tune in. <laughs> tune in. <laughs> I, I think we want to keep all of that yeah. exclusive. Yeah. Want to keep right. it exclusive. Okay. Uh, so so please please you know visit wearerivalry.com. Mm -hmm. Tune in Saturday uh, where we release our one more rivalry uh, weekly television show. I gotcha. You have to tune into We Are Rivalry to see that. They're not going to give any hints. <laughs> Gentlemen, we appreciate your time this morning. No, thank you for thank supporting you. your athletes. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Chef Dan